Alright, what's up guys? <clears throat> I'm going to show you real quick today how to download and install iTunes on your computer. Um, I've already downloaded it, but I will show you the basic process. First thing you want to do is go to iTunes.com and it will redirect you to the Apple page. And you're going to look for this button up in the top right corner. It says download iTunes. Click on that. Now, uh, these right here, it will auto detect your operating system and you have to enter your email address to download. Uh, I would unclick these if you don't want to receive any um, email from Apple. But then just enter your email here and click this download now button. I have already downloaded it. So once you click the download now button, it's going to tell you this is a this type of file can harm your computer if you use Google Chrome. You want to click on keep. I'm going to click this card because I've already downloaded the file. And then you basically want to navigate, once it's done downloading, to wherever your default directory is for your download. Mine is in the download folder. And I have here the iTunes setup. So you double click that to start it. Okay, now basically it's just like installing any other uh, software on your computer. You can, you know, use it for your default audio player if you'd like. Um, it will automatically update if you don't. If you don't want it to, just deselect that. Select your language, your installation folder, and then click install. Now this should only take a few seconds. Now, if you're uh, if you're looking for some, some good movies, put onto your iPod, iTouch, iVideo, still use one. Uh, your iPhone, anything like that, uh, you can check out sneaky-media.com for the huge section of MP4 iPod compatible movies. And um, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be making videos soon to show how to get how to get those videos to work on your iPhone, how to download them directly from your iPhone or your iPod, how to get them working on your Android phone. So check back if you need help with that. No jailbreaking necessary. A pretty, it's a relatively easy process. All right, so uh, once it is done installing, you will get this screen right here. You can go ahead and click the finish button, and it should, if you select the checkbox, it should open up iTunes. Now the first time you'll have to agree to their user agreement obviously, so click agree. And uh, it will not take that long to open every time. It's just registering all the system files and whatnot. And there you go. That's how you get iTunes on your computer. And um, you know, if you're new to iTunes, you've never used it before, I would highly recommend 
watching their uh, tutorial videos because they do really help uh, you figure out basically anything you need to know right here from the tutorials. I know plenty about iTunes, so I'm not going to do that. But if, you know, if you go over here on the side, you have the iTunes store, all that good stuff. So your, when you connect your iPod, you'll see it listed over here on the side under connected devices, uh, which is not there now because there are no connected devices. But you know, your music library, movies, TV shows, uh, radio, the whole nine. So that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe, comment, like, react, the whole nine. Visit sneaky-media.com for all your, uh, your favorite movies, music, TV shows, ISOs. Everything you can imagine, we got it. Uh, there's probably about six, six to eight hundred movies posted right now. The library is building daily, so make sure you check that guy. Check that out, guys. Plenty of MP4, iPod compatible movies available, and um, yeah, it's changing and changing every single day. You're missing out if you haven't made an account yet. And that is basically it. So sneaky-media.com, sneaky-codes.tk. Sworn leader signing out. Thank you.